names hi dot delay so this is where we kick in the delay a name delay um, this is what we use um, so every animation has its own delay we don't want everything having the same uh, time frame going so we give each each thing its own delay so if db time and then we say a names did I copy and paste that? Oh no, I didn't. I'm a failure. But I'm not even good at cheating. Um, dot timer equals db timer. So we reset the timer for the animation, and then we say names dot um, frames. So increase the frames by one plus plus. Um, and then we say if z dot um, frames. So we're saying if the, uh, the frame equals the limit, the highest frame, we reset it and we declare that the animation has been completed. This is a bit similar to the essay we were doing. The method is very similar and uh, well, almost the same, honestly, except with sprites. Uh, busy equals false. Um, and then what we want to say here is. Um, this is something you don't have to do, but I recommend that you do it. Um, basically, below this, uh, you've got that there, and then, yeah, sorry, oops. So we've got that close one, close two, just making sure I write this in the right place. Uh, if uh, names dot type of equals equals sprite. Now, what the reason why I've got this is because at first I had both sprites and images, but I prefer to have this here because that way we're not putting a sprite, an image, in a sprite because there's no other check before that. So make sure you have that. So if it's a sprite, then we db paste the image. Now, the only reason I call it sprite is because they have different ways of being delivered. So then we start off by animation.set image. So that's the image we selected. Actually, sorry. Plus um, dot set an in frames is it an in frames do, 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 do. Uh, sorry so frames uh, and then we send in uh, an ims. yeah this is where that comes in this is something very cool um, an ims i dot um, I'll, I'll explain to you in a second what happens if we didn't have that minus map x if we didn't have this right um, I tried to explain it earlier but I didn't do it for a while I don't think yeah. so then we got an ims i having a look here And then names I dot y. Okay, is that y? So, so my comment on the, yeah, my comment on the, <laughs> on my actual code was it keeps the animation beautifully still. But what happens here is if the animation was triggered from a sprite, e.g. a Goomba. Now Goomba was a big bastard when I was doing it because because what we do here, right? because we only have a small screen we have a massive map worth about I don't know 20 screens now we spawn a Goomba we find out where he is and because we're creating an illusion that the map is moving uh, that the player is moving sorry the player is not moving for one second the map is moving that's the beauty of these games the map moves for the player you can't move the player because you find out very quickly that that won't work right you can do it but it's a lot of trouble and it is not no one does it if you go and check out games such as Mega Man Mario and all that the map everything else moves around the player that's that's how these things work so you constantly have to decrement from the map and by doing this here I spawn the Magoomba at the end of the map and until I get to him right so I move I move tons and move as much as I like he will not move from his position he will technically but I'll reposition him by doing this alright so that's how it works Oops, my headphones annoy me so um, I don't actually know why I have them on honestly absolute imbecile sometimes um, so uh, this is pretty much it, this is our levels animations right? so we're going to check out what we need to do now um, I'm probably eating through my hard drive with terabytes, well not terabytes, gigabytes it's just memory for every second I speak to you guys um, so right map handling right, uh, I've written the map uh, handle animation class uh, and now what we've got to do is create the fight free animation method at 
misc. So let's do that quickly. Uh, miscellaneous. So we've created among them. So if I go to misc here, miscellaneous. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we go. Uh, let's copy that. And this time it should be a void, I believe. Is it a void? No, it's not a void. Just like before, miscellaneous. I'm going to call this find free animation. Now, calling a class miscellaneous is probably not a good idea. But uh, you can do it sometimes, and you should, because if you're an idiot like me, it might work. So, um, a lecture or whatever will probably tell you not to do that, but, um, you know, um, this isn't too precise or anything, so you don't have to be, um, anyways, I'm not like a professional at this, so I can't really tell you the exact way of doing things, I can only teach you what I am taught or teach myself I guess. Um, anyways, uh, max animations sake. Sorry I interrupted there for a second, so max animation max animation, uh, for some reason this stupid crap is lagging never mind, oh for god's sakes I plus plus making sure this is okay alright so we should be back in business hopefully so we do that max animations I plus um, plus and then what we do is we do if anims I dot busy so we're saying if the animation oops that should have turned up dot busy that's a problem and never mind that so leave it we'll find the error in a second I is I plus plus so what we do is we say um if it's busy equals equals false so it's not busy equals equals false now you don't have to always do this uh, there's other ways of doing um, <coughs> checking pull statements so instead of if I did equals equals false if I did uh, an exclamation mark there I would have done the same job so this like that is the same as equals equals false alright so I do that just because it is simpler in most most of the cases so if just like the one before this is very similar to it it goes through it and it finds out if it's busy or not and it sends it up, uh, sends it back to. Otherwise, it returns a zero. Now, if it returns a zero, then it's going to overwrite one of the current, um, one of the current, um, sorry, animations in use. So the initial, the array. So it very rarely will do that. Um, uh, yeah, I know what the mistake was. It's a nest there, max animations. So next thing we got to do is we got to create the object for um, the map handling class we created a second ago, uh, and that is going to be at character events, I believe. Character events, where is that? Um, so the same place where we created loader. Um, just going to make sure in my example that it's the same. Character events. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. Yeah, it is. I was right. So, um, what we'll do is we'll call that there. Map handling animations. Map, um, call this map anims. Right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to call these from the main method. Uh, main loop, sorry. Main, uh, so main is here. We're going to main, uh, and like I said to you guys earlier, there was something in between here, so I'll just put that there. It doesn't really matter how it's done. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, so dot start uh, dot level animation. So this will display those animations when we require them to be displayed. All right. <coughs> so um, what we've got to do now, we've created that. So now it loops. Um, it displays on every loop. Uh, right hook character events class. Yeah, so what I've got to do now is do a quick build to find out if our misc error is gone. And it certainly has not. I and declared identifier. Uh, for an I. Oh, damn it, what was that about? That's that's where our error was. I'm sure you noticed this before I did. So, yeah, there's three errors now. Uh, and obviously, misc is one of them here. Um, did I declare a misc object? Let's just figure that out. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. Oh, damn it, I'm looking for the whole thing. Yeah, I know what it is. It's, um, I declared a small version of it, I think. 
I respite. Yeah, there we go. I called it a small misc. So, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll leave it a small misc. It, it doesn't matter anything like that. It won't. It won't make too much of a difference. A misc. We do that, and we do it down here as well. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna have to change a hell of a lot now because I'm being lazy. But do you paste image, you idiot? God, I'm such an idiot sometimes. And we are good to go. You know when it goes well because it takes too long. And that's our animation right there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, <coughs> so yeah, this is pretty much it. We are we are going to do the we're going to write the whole character events class. I'll see you when I wake up. Tick tock, tick tock, testing, 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 testing. How are we going? How are we going? Let's go. Let's keep moving. Tick tock. Okay, guys. So I'm uh, back in business, and uh, as you can tell by this tick tocker down here, um, it's been a few hours since I um, since I last taught you. So I woke up only a few minutes ago. So I'm going to try and build up to uh, back to normal speed. Um, I kind of have to get this out of the way because I needed to borrow my sister's laptop um, to do this tutorial as I've only got one monitor at the moment. Um, but anyways, so what we've got left to do is a basi basically um, about 20 steps left. Now we've done a fair amount of the tutorial, well, um, almost half of it I'd say, and uh, we just need to finish the rest. So what we're going to do is going to start by uh, creating the uh, whole character events class. Now this is a bit of a difficult one. That's actually not difficult. I mean, what I mean by that is that it, it is a bit of work, just like the map handling one. So I'm just going to get mine here, and I'm going to start by doing the. So as usual, copy this because we don't have to write that. So void character events, and this one's called TikTok. Well, wow. it's funny I said that a minute ago, but that's what this one's called. Um, probably should have given it a better name. I know, but. Uh, this will work for now. So le if level over equals equals zero, so if level hasn't ended, so he hasn't touched the flag or anything like that, so we check this. Um, game timer equals db timer. Okay, so game timer equals db timer if that if time is greater than zero time minus minus. I'm just trying to remember why I did this here. Else uh kill Mario Oh yeah, yeah so what we're doing here is we're checking if the time has passed. So we're saying um if so this handles our tick ticking, that's why I call it TikTok. It handles the uh the time going down. So obviously we start at four hundred I think and um what this does is it says oh as time reached zero, if it has killed Mario, because you know time's up, so we kill him. Um, uh, and then what we're saying here as well, if time equals two hundred, which is half of the total time, DB play sound S warning uh, S time warning. Now S time warning is that sound you hear. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo. that's probably nowhere near it, but um, it's something like that. You, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> DV play. There's a little typo there. Make sure that's okay. That seems fine. Um, and then our next one is going to be. So as usual, just copy this. Um, our next method is uh, end level. Now we, as obvious as it sounds, this is to end our level. End level. <coughs> uh, what we're saying here is saying. If level over is not equal to zero, so if it's anything other than zero, we um if level is not equal to zero, uh then we say if db sound db sound playing s s main theme. So if if um Mario's reached the end, so if he's at the uh, f if he's just touched the flag level over level over has become one, therefore we stop this sound the main theme we want to hear the final sound of the game, so we go d b stop sound s main theme main theme gotta warm my hands up uh yeah, so we stop the sound because we don't want to hear this anymore. Uh, what we want to then say is if level, I'm just going to copy that again because that's useful. If level over equals equals one, 